if you're a user of uBlock, the ad blocking software, you might notice when you start your browser, the uBlock icon goes yellow. Why is this? We look into it. If you're watching this as a short, tap the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video right now. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, when you go in to your browser and you're running uBlock, then you will see, you will notice that when you go into it, very briefly, the uBlock icon goes yellow and you're left in actual fact with an exclamation mark. Now, why is this? What's happened? Well, it seems that a lot of the Chromium-based systems such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Brave Browser, virtually all browsers of today are based on the Chromium system. Well, as it come to version around about 110, I believe, the Chromium system changed the way the extensions loaded and uBlock is an extension to your browser. It's not initially included in your browser. And what actually the change they made was that uh, extensions would be loaded after the web page. This was an effort in, in which to try and speed up web page loading. What was happening before was extensions were loading before the web page would load and therefore it would in, it would cause a pause in some cases to websites or web pages from loading when you very first started the browser. What does the yellow icon with the yellow exclamation mark mean? Well, it basically means that uBlock isn't quite ready yet and it's still loading all of the, the websites it needs to block or web pages or adverts it needs to block into your computer's memory. So when it goes red, that means it's ready. Now you are left a lot of the time with a exclamation mark. And that basically means that the particular page that you're looking at, it may have not had all the adverts blocked that you'd hope it to because the website loaded before uBlock had a chance to scan the page for adverts and remove them. So what can you do about this? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. And first of all, what you could do is you can go into the settings of uBlock. So click on uBlock itself and then click on the cogs just down there. And if you go into filter lists just over here, click that. There is an option here which says suspend network activity until all filter lists are loaded. So if you tick this box just here, then what it will do is it won't actually load any web pages until all of the filter lists are loaded and they are ready to block. So let's just close Chrome down and let's just open it back up again. Now I've ticked that box and let's see what happens. So there we go. It did go yellow for a bit and an exclamation mark did appear, but the shield has gone red and it's got a number in it, meaning it's blocked seven adverts, potential adverts. So this time it has actually worked simply because Chrome waited for uBlock to load before it actually load the, loaded the web page. The other thing you could do is just a simple one. When it loads, just make sure that you hit the refresh button over there, the circle arrow to reload the page. And that will make sure it reloads it with all the adverts blocked. Or thirdly, what you can do is you can change the start page. So just go into the three dots in the top right hand corner or the settings and the settings, should I say, go into on startup and just basically say on startup, open the new tab page. And then let's just close it down, reopen it back up and then go into it. And then that will just open up a new tab page, which we know hasn't got any adverts on it anyway. So there's nothing there to block and then go on from there. Now, to be fair to you block, um, I've just changed my start page to Yahoo, which I know has adverts and I've loaded it and we've got the uh, exclamation mark up there. But 
it has still managed to block all ads, I believe. I mean, let's just have a look to see what is on the page if I don't block ads. Let's just turn it off and refresh it and just see, there you go. So we've got adverts here and here. So that is with the ad blocker turned off deliberately. So if I turn that back on now at the moment, let's just go into the settings. I haven't actually set it to say suspend network activity until all filter lists are loaded. So let's just close it down and just see how it fares anyway without that. So like I say, my start page is Yahoo. Let's open Google and there you go. You quickly briefly saw the adverts trying to load, but uBlock did actually block them. Now it might be on a slower system. This might not work so well and you might see adverts loading up. But as I say, you can go into the settings there if you want and suspend network activity until all, to filter, all filter lists are loaded. Let's just do that, close this down and let's just open up Chrome again and see how it performs. And there we go. There was not even a glimpse that time of the adverts loading and uh, we've got no exclamation mark up there. But like I say, if you're not prepared to do that, then there's a couple of other ways you can do it. You can literally just refresh the page by clicking on the reload up there and that gets rid of it. Or just go into settings and start with a page that you know and trust that doesn't have any adverts on it. Or you can just go to the open the new tab page and let's just see what happens there once more. Go into that. And there we go. It goes yellow quickly, but uh, but then goes grey again because it knows it's a start page. It knows that it's not going out to the Internet. It knows that it's not getting any adverts. And then when we do go to other pages such as MSN, Yahoo or wherever, then uh, the ad blocker will kick straight into force. So there you go. That explains the reason why. You may well have seen your uBlock icon go yellow and why you may well have an exclamation mark next to it when you first start your browser. If you're looking for a new Fire Stick or a VPN, don't forget, check out the links below. You might well get yourself a great offer. And most of all, and also using these links in the description below helps support this channel. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you like this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at CWTech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.